Alright, welcome back to this week's episode. Uh, it's been a while since the last post. Uh, this week I thought we'd do a bit of a recap and on some of the cars that, that I've cracked before. Um, we'll take a look at, at cars that, that were featured in, in videos and some that, that weren't. Uh, and then I'm also dying to open up the new Matchbox Collectors Mercedes. Uh, so we'll, uh, we'll have a look at that one as well. Alright, see you in a bit. going to uh, run through the shippers quickly. Uh, I might not feature all of them, but I'll, I'll try and uh, grab the, the best of uh, cars. Uh, starting out with uh, one that I'm, I'm pretty sure that I didn't feature on camera. Uh, this one uh, is a, a remake of a classic Matchbox casting uh, and, and Deco as well. Uh, this was a five-pack exclusive uh, from Matchbox. Uh, this is the Volkswagen delivery van with the classic uh, Matchbox International Express deco on the side. I know there's a, there's a similar casting in the um, in the Hot Wheels stable that they use in, in pop culture quite a bit but that's uh, I thought this was one worthy of getting a whole five pack of. Um, uh, staying with the Matchbox uh, multi-pack exclusives uh, the 71 in this one, Skyline in orange. Uh, this one also was a nine pack exclusive here. Uh, the, uh, the singles came in two different colors. There was the gray and sort of a, 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 a gunmetal blue, I think, was one of them as well. Uh, but the orange was a multi pack exclusive, uh, also known as the Matchbox gift packs. Um, quite detailed. Uh, one one color, so detailed front and back. Uh, yeah, very nice. Uh, and then also a firm favorite, another uh, five pack exclusive from from Matchbox uh, was the um, the Jaguar E Type uh, with the Matchbox 65 year anniversary logo on the front. Um, this was also one of my one of my favorites. Uh, from a mainline point of view. Love the color, love the wheels. Um, yep. Details front and back. Uh, another one I liked, uh, this one was a personal favorite. I uh, did the video a couple of weeks ago, a uh, little too short, the Chevy Nova Gasser. Uh, from the from the new Boulevard series, so this one is, is fairly new. These are still on the pegs um, in South Africa. Uh, I'm sure you'll still find them overseas on the pegs as well. They're not that old. Um, yeah, this was a uh, I love love the deco on this. I I, I love the, the 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 old drag racing deco on these, um, and and the funkier the color, the better. Uh, speaking of, so this one goes well with. One from the 50th anniversary series from Hot Wheels, uh, the uh, 55 Chevy Gasser, the big deal, the bright pink and lime windows, roof, and, uh, and deco. Nice. So these just look, uh, they just look so much better in, in a uh, bit of an, an odd color for, for a car, but I love, I love the gases when they do them like that. Um, and sticking to the racing theme, another favorite of mine, the Cherry Red Dan Gurney. Uh, 65 uh, 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 Ford Galaxy, sorry, Ford Galaxy 500. Um, yeah, this one from the 2012 uh, racing sets. Um, 
yeah brilliant deco brilliant color uh, yeah love that and then from the same from the same series the 49 Merc well sorry the 56 Merc uh, with the opening hood also coming from the 2012 racing series um, these two were from the stock car set or the stock car subset uh, much sought after these days uh, some of the better cars Hot Wheels did back then loving these I think we're long overdue for, for a similar set uh, or a re revitalized set um, I think we can uh, we can do with, with more of these and these castings, we haven't seen these castings around in a while, I don't know if they'd still do the opening parts on these um, but, but I mean even if, even if they don't uh, I think we can you know, safely say that there'd be a couple of takers uh, myself included or something like that uh, and then going over to something a bit more modern the Mercedes 190E in the Mo uh, Momo Deco sorry uh, this one from the race day set if I'm not mistaken Jeez, I, I hope I got that right um, it was, was one of the, the race day car culture sets anyway um, yeah, those aero wheels immediately identifiable Momo Deco and then speaking of identifiable Deco the Urban Outlaw the Magnus Walker De De Deco on the Porsche classic Magnus Walker casting and Deco based off of his, his, his real life car um, I loved the, um, uh, apart from the deco, I just loved this casting. The wheels were obviously perfect. Um, yeah, uh, this, this, this is uh, pro probably my favorite Porsche casting at the moment. Uh, doesn't matter what color they do it in. Um, they just always seem to, seem to get a winner. Okay, let's have a look. And then something a little cleaner, classic and clean. Uh, let's grab this one. This one is a is a hot favorite as well. Obviously, from a bygone era, we Hot Wheels still had the the Ferrari license, uh, so these you you won't be seeing anytime soon. The 250 GTO, I think, was some of the some of the better better Ferraris that they made. Uh, this one is is an absolute favorite of mine. Um, I have uh, I have both the grey and the, the silver and the red versions of these. Uh, the others, the black, red, and yellows, uh, were uh, in a were in the singles, uh, but they obviously were uh, not premium, so no metal, no metal bases, no no real riders. Um, but but also for 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 main lines, as it were, um, also highly detailed and. Uh, and authentic colors uh, for these but yeah this one uh, th these these are getting uh, pretty hard to come by these days um, and, and I suppose all premium Ferrari Hot Wheels uh, will reach that stage as well and then so sticking with the clean the 66 Pontiac GTO uh, also from the from the Boulevard series, the the the, um, the modern Boulevard series, uh, these uh, probably not on the peg still. It's it was uh, some of the the earlier releases, um, but 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 that yeah that recent at least. I mean these these were on our pegs last year. Uh, full details front and back, nice two tone with the gunmetal grey uh, tone on top. Uh, there is uh, actually the latest release. Uh, there's another one of these, uh, sort of a a, a bluish uh, metal shine to it. Um, I don't know if I'd be picking that that one up, but but also at, uh, 
a very clean uh, classic version of the of the Pontiac GTO. Uh, and then I also had some some pop culture cars that we that we tracked. I'll run through those quickly uh, just because they they are cool car things. The Chevy pickup, so the '52 Chevy pickup with Sam the Eagle. This is obviously from the Muppets uh, series. Uh, we tracked this, uh, I think, a couple of months ago. I picked up this in one of our local retailers. Uh, somebody must have returned some old stock, or they dug up some other because this 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 set was shop uh, probably three, four, five years old um, since they were last on the pegs. So very old stock that I found earlier this year. Um, one from a couple of years ago. Also a firm favorite, the casting at least, the Green Lantern A Dodge A100. Uh, I love the Dodge A100 as a casting. I love it when they do the, the deep dish wheels on these. I just think it's so appropriate. The stance, they do the, the, the big wheel at the back, little wheel at the front, so, so yeah, just gets that very aggressive stance. Um, and yeah, I actually, uh, not a particularly big Green Lantern fan, but the deco, it works. It's, uh, it actually works very well. Um, what I do like about these and what we've seen in recent releases is, is they, don't, they, they don't always have a different image uh, left and right. Uh, these still did. Uh, which uh, I think just adds adds to the detail value of it. Um, yeah. Liking that. Right, those are the highlights um, from the cars that we that we cracked before. Uh, there are one or two others, but uh, nothing to really write home about. Um, but I thought I'd I'd like to add this one. Um, this is a recent pickup. I picked this up last week. I've been waiting for this one. The, the Matchbox collectors. Uh, I, I'm not. I'm not out to to collect all of them. Uh, there's a there's a couple that, that that caught my attention. This one being top of the list. Um, I thought I'd I'd like to crack one open and see see what the details like up close, uh, because this obviously, uh, for those of you that know, for for RLC members amongst us, uh, they did a. Uh, Mattel Creations release of this casting uh, about two months ago. So where you we got this casting in a, an acrylic box with sort of a cardboard diorama uh, uh, scene. Um, it was a grey, obviously full full deco front and back and uh, uh, real riders, and it was a it was a sort of silver silver greyish um, deco they had on there. Um, and I actually passed up on, on that one, but held out for this one, thought well, I'd, I'd like to compare, you know, open this one up, have a close look at it, see whether or not it's worth, you know, what the difference is between a $2 car, or where we are, four, would be a $4 car, uh, as opposed to a $30, $35 car. So, um, so yeah, let's crack uh, this one open, add it to the box. Let's see what it looks like up, up close. So these matchbox premiums obviously come with the little matchbox collectors cardboard box, like they uh, like they did in the olden days. Uh, matchbox collectors uh, come with real rider tires, metal body, but plastic base. So this is still plastic, full metal. And then most of them, I don't know if all of them have got opening parts, uh, but most of them have got some some sort of opening part. Uh, no deco inside, of course, uh, which is, I think, one of the differences between this one and what the premium release was. Uh, premium release had some deco on the seats. Uh, this one full deco around the, the, the outside, you know, indicators and headlights up front. Uh, you have taillights indicators and um, license plate deco at the back. So yeah, not, uh, I've heard many a complaint about the seam lines. Uh, I mean, they're pretty visible. The doors don't always uh, shut flash. Uh, this one, this side obviously does. 
um, and then there's been uh, a lot, lots of criticism about the wheels, the, the choice of wheels. It's it's not, it, it doesn't seem to be period correct. Uh, these seem to be more modern, modern wheels on a on a classic car. Uh, and not a lot of people, or some people seem to uh, seem to not like that very much. Uh, it doesn't really bother me as long as the wheels uh, uh, these are okay these aren't these aren't too bad I've seen worse um, yeah not, not bad not bad for a, like I said for us would be a four dollar car um, and for premium that's that's still cheap here so yeah uh, not bad I'd like that yeah that's a, a new addition to the shipper and uh, yeah that's it. That's a quick recap of the, the cars we've cracked uh, over the last couple of months to a year. And uh, I'll try and get uh, more videos posted more regularly. There has been a bit of a, a break due to technical issues. Um, so I'll, I'll try and get more, more of the videos out more frequently from here on out. Okay, so uh, if you like this video, give it a like. If you want to leave a comment below, please do. And subscribe so that you are notified of future releases and uh, I'll see you guys real soon. Keep well, keep safe. Cheers.